Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we can talk about the role of workflow engine uh, in the different architecture, right? So in the last video we talked about the role of workflow engine as a event watcher with the asynchronous event driven architecture, right? So what all possible ways in which you can use a workflow engine with the microservices? Okay, so this is the previous example only we have extended it now what we are doing is these uh, BPMNs or workflow engines are being used independent to a particular service. Okay, I need this BPMN to be introduced, the workflow engine to be introduced for order processing. And you know that in order processing, we might be doing a lot of things, right? So send command for retrieving the payment, then payment received, send command for fetching goods, the goods has been phased, and then send events for order delivered. A lot of things will happen underneath this particular service, right? So we can actually introduce this workflow engine for this particular service and it will take care of all the things which we are doing inside the order processing and then the payment payment is like use existing payment method introduce a new payment method approve the new payment through some third party and then uh, do the payment and then the process is completed. So another thing is the payment, right? So in the payment can also be an independent uh, workflow process like it will ask you, do you want to use the existing payment methods which are available, add the new payment method, get the approval from some asynchronous third party and once that is done, do the payment and payment is done, right? So this can, be all, this can also be attached to a particular microservice. Another pattern with this is if you don't want to use it with the asynchronous style, like here we have a SQS or Kafka or something, you have to keep sending these events and individual microservice can be plugged in with this workflow engine. This communication style can also be the REST based where checkout is, a, checkout is talking to the order microservice in the REST style without using this event driven uh, messaging service. You will directly talk to the order, order process will have its own workflow engine. Similarly, payment will have its own workflow engine. A workflow engine uh, associated with that services. So this can be the asynchronous fire and forget and request reply which is simply uh, calling these services directly without using this uh, event service, I mean event bus, okay? Now what is the other alternative which is important one because that is something new uh, we wanted to learn. You can put this Kamunda as a workflow engine in between all these services, okay? And this is actually most commonly used, which I also used. What we do is, this is our Kamunda and we will write our workflow process. And that workflow process will involve all these microservices. So it depends on our requirement that we want to centralize or decentralize this workflow engine. Here, these workflow engines were decentralized because that was talking to a particular service that was holding the state of a particular service. Here we wanted to have this particular workflow engine as a centralized solution. So it is going to hold the state of the overall system and you can actually create your work workflow process based on your business. Okay, simply you will you are going to have multiple tasks, service tasks which are going to call a different set of microservices. Okay, this is your workflow process and you are trying to automate it through the different microservices. Let's just draw this. So now let's put them as a task 2, task 3 and this is our task 1. Okay, what has changed here is instead of these using SQS and uh, talking to services directly to one to one using request reply, we have changed that approach. These are the microservices which are sitting somewhere, okay. Let's say these are the microservices. Let's move them to the top. Let's say this is service one. Similarly, similarly we are going to have service two, three, four. And this is our fourth service. Now what this workflow process will do is whenever you are invoking this whole process, right? There is an external entity which is going to initiate this whole process. Maybe the UI action or 
some particular action. You are going to invoke this, right? This task one is nothing but an external service. This is nothing but an external task. I will also put a placeholder there. Uh, leave it for now. Okay. These are, I mean, I'm just writing some dummy Kamunda workflow diagram. This task one is going to talk to service one. Okay. Now this task one will wait until now this communication can be anything. This can be long running process, but it's a simply HTTP call request and reply. So you will call this service, you will get the acknowledgement and then you will send this event to the next service. Now next service will call another service which we have and it will wait for the response. It can be a simple request and reply. And once this message is received, you will, you will send this event to the next level and then task three will talk to the service three. Right, so this can be like uh, your order, this is the payment and then order completed and it is talking to the multiple microservices. Right, so once we start the workflow, it is going to start, this is the first service task, will be handled by independent microservice. This task will be handled by independent microservice. So we hold the overall state through the single BPM and for all the microservices which we have in our whole system, right. So in this architecture, the workflow distribute works among different microservices, which means it becomes some kind of a bus itself. You can see this is now acting as a messaging bus. A microservice can subscribe to a certain work of a workflow and can get the, that task done, right? So it's like a distribution of work in a different microservices where you have a single BPM. And this BPM can be huge, can be very big. The only thing is, this task, the execution of this task is managed by workflow engine. You will initiate the process. Now it keeps calling the independent services. Now you can track which request is failing and all these things, tracking, managing, everything is being done through this particular workflow process. Okay. Uh, so this is the architecture which we will be going to talk further. Uh, this is our main focus area in coming videos. Uh, thanks everyone.